Good morning and welcome back to Jody Willis Creations. In today's video, of course, we are going to continue to work in our Christmas journal. Okay, so um, a few things first is, um, are, a few things are, uh, I apologize for being delayed in filming. Um, we have just had a, a lot going on and I just haven't felt creative at all. And you know, I can't come in here and force something. When I do that, I feel like my finished product reflects that I'm not in the mood to make it. And certainly I didn't feel like if I had filmed, it would be fair to you as the viewer or that the content would have been um, what you would wanna watch because I don't want my tone to impact you. And I know my tone would have uh, been less than, um, what's the word I'm looking for? whatever it it would just be not you guys would just be like what is wrong with this woman so anyway i'm better today this is sunday morning this will air today at some point when i can get it uploaded i'll publish it immediately i recognize that i've been trying to put videos out every three days and i should have had a you know a video posted yesterday which was saturday and this is sunday and i'm just now filming so please give me some grace um it is what it is and I won't go into details, but I just, I just couldn't, I just couldn't come in here and, and I just couldn't. I mean, I even got a piece of muslin out to work on my journalist stitchery and I couldn't even put just random scraps of fabric down just to create a base. I just, I did, I couldn't. So here I am. It's okay. I'm better today. I'm feeling better today. And each day is just a new day and we are just moving right along. So anyway. Well, I kind of switched gear this, this morning. I had some stuff on my desk for an idea and then I was trying to clean up a little bit and I got a different idea with just things on my desk. So hopefully this idea will come into, um, will come, hopefully this idea will work <laughs> and then we'll get to the other idea as well. The other idea is not my idea. This is just me playing with stuff on my desk. So this is going to be a belly band on the back of the painted paper, which I will talk to you about just for a minute as well, because Dottie Jen, you asked me about this painted paper. So but we're gonna work on this belly band for, right now I'm gonna set this aside so it's out of the way. <clears throat> Excuse me, a tickle in my throat. It's so humid this morning. Oh my gosh, it's killing me. And Bernice, <clears throat> I know you're going to get some rain in just a little bit because I was looking at the radar going, please drop down and hit us. But no, it's staying up. So you get it. And we need the rain so, so bad. Okay. So this is, you know you go to a restaurant and you get these cute little bags and your silverware comes in, right? And Mark is so funny. He was like, have you used any of them? You keep taking them home. And, um, the answer to that is no, I haven't, but I want to use them. So, because I think they're fun. So this is what I've done. So this is an Artie Mays printable, and this is a tag I made last year as part of the Little Golden Book series that I was doing. And I had a couple extras because I was trying to mass make, and I thought this will be a bottom tuck here, okay? Then my bag is going to pull out this way. So hopefully... This will work. Now I've been struggling with how to embellish the bag. So that's kind of where I'm stuck. So I thought, well, I could collage a little bit on here and that would be kind of cute. And as a matter of fact, maybe I will on that front page, put that there. Maybe I will do that. I think I will. So anyway, we're just gonna collage this and, and decorate the bits and um, yeah, I like that. Maybe I will just take this one off or we'll get another piece. I have more pieces of that. Ooh, ooh or just the sparkly ribbon would be really pretty on there as well. I could tuck that behind this green paper. Okay, that's what I'll do. Put that kind of in the middle and then that'll poke out there. Okay, so let's do this. We'll start on this page. Okay, so as for this painted paper, I'm going to glue and talk about this, then um, see where we are. Okay, so the painted paper, Dottie Jen, I sent you the link on the comments for Tracy Fox's video. 
for how to do the painted paper. It is not difficult and it is like so much fun. So I do strongly encourage you to try it if you haven't already based on, um, based on uh, talking about it. Oh my gosh, get your, I'm sorry. I have to get my words out of my mouth this morning. It's been, a, like I said, it's been a rough few days. <laughs> sorry about this. Anyway, so this is packaging that came, I don't know, my husband ordered some tires and it was this amazing packaging. So I was like, please don't throw that away. So he was good and he kept it for me. Or actually, he is. He says he's trained and now he asks me before he throws things away. <laughs> but anyway, I took a really big sheet. I mean, it was a really big sheet of this. And I took it outside and I just grabbed various colors of acrylic paint. Okay, so I just had my Dollar Tree uh, cutting board and I had my brayer spray bottle of water and various colors of acrylics and stencils and stuff like that. So I basically watered down some red and brayered it on, green brayered it on. Um, I stenciled some, I don't know, that's probably like the antique color. Stenciled that through, splattered some black on it. I have an empty thread spool that I used for the circle marks. You can use um, a toilet paper roll. Um, you can use, you can use whatever mark making, sorry, I have you plugged in. So I just hit the thing. I apologize. You can use whatever mark making tool you want. And it is just a really, really freeing process because they, you really, there's only so much control you can have when you are making the painted paper and you use like whatever color scheme you want to. And it's just a lot of fun. So like, you know, my, um, my mother-in-law was just here and she is so sweet. I just love her. And so we did this together and it was so much fun. And again, it's whatever color scheme you want to work with. Uh, let me open this just a little bit. So don't be intimidated. And um, I will tell you, I tried to do this with inks and it came out pink. So hopefully you can see that. Um, and we just had a lot, a lot of fun with doing this. Um, and <laughs> she was so cute. She giggled while we were working on it. It was adorable. But anyway, so we had a lot of fun doing that. Um, so that's kind of the gist of it. I mean, you really just use your acrylics that you have and just choose what color family you want to work in. And the nice thing with acrylic is like red and green generally make brown. And um, it really didn't make brown because I made sure it was dry before I added the green over the red. Um, so the spray ink, I will tell you, where is that piece? Let me put this back on. I tried to do one in spray inks for the Christmas colors. Oops. And this is um, festive berries and a couple other kind of shades of red and I even put the ice spruce on here which really kind of turned into more white than the ice spruce so I think that was a reaction with the paper itself um, so I have a plan for that because it's so pink <laughs> but anyway hopefully um, anyway I have a plan for that but anyway um, so yeah it's just a lot of fun. It's very freeing and there are no rules. Like I told mom, I said, there are no rules. The only rule is just to have fun. And boy, did we, we had so much fun and she was so cute. And now I have this really fun piece of packaging to work with. And, um, so yeah, I do encourage you to try it for sure. Cause it's fantastic to do this. Like we just really enjoy, Oh shoot. I'm talking and I didn't do what I was going to do. Shoot, shoot, shoot. And I did that with a glue stick. Okay, well, it's down. I was gonna put the glittery, see this is what happens when I talk and um, talk and work, that's okay. We're, we'll, we'll revisit it. Let's put this down. Let me put this here. Okay, hopefully you guys can see. I know this is kind of a small piece that I'm working on. I really didn't wanna cover that. So maybe I'll do something different on this instead of the joy. Okay, 
So there's that. Um, what else was I going to tell you? I still haven't done the journal cover for the next bit. I, I mean, I even tried to come in here and do that yesterday, but that didn't work either. So it's not me trying to get sympathy or anything. I'm just trying to like let you guys know that um, I just I just couldn't. And it's okay if you can't. Sometimes we just can't. Sometimes we just have to give ourselves grace and walk away. Walk away. Oh, I like the blue on there. Oh, that'll be kind of cute, actually. I'm going to put a little bit of ribbon in him. Okay, let me find a little piece of trim to put in his little hole here. And I may get my jelly roll and just put a little bit of glitter highlights on the owl and maybe on the snow here. But I have to find some, oh, some eyelash trim would be really cute on that. Okay, let me find that and I'll be back. I can't believe we're at 10 minutes already. <laughs> What's well, cause I was yabbering? Not really. I mean, you asked me about the painted paper and I wanted to answer you and not be like, oh, just go watch this video. But rather than me try to film that, especially right now with everything I have going on, I thought it would be a quicker, a quicker solution for you if you wanted to try to do it. But anyway. No point in reinventing the wheel, right? But I do love doing the painted paper. Like, but that falls under that mixed media that I just love. And um, if you've been, oh, you know what? The Rainy Day Project, I did a cereal box um, kind of similar to the painted paper. So you could go watch the um, Rainy Day series. That was when I made the Hummingbird Journal. And I did kind of the same premise on a cereal box to make that cover. Um, so you could go check that out and see if that helps you at all. I'm just trying to very gently, I don't want a lot of glacier paste around this. Now I'm going to have to wait for this to dry, but I really kind of wanted that snowy effect. I was going to use my silver gilding wax, gilding paste, whatever, but I just love this stuff so much. Have you guys figured that out yet? <laughs> I do love it. Okay. So. I wanted to say that, boy, you guys, is, ugh, the kind comments and the encouraging words from you guys with this series and so many positive responses and just the love and um, I just appreciate it. And I'm really pleasantly surprised by how many of you have said like um, my thinking out loud through the process has helped you. And so thank you. I really appreciate those those comments, they really help me kind of keep plugging away as I'm doing this. A lot of times I'll film stuff, you know, I'm sorry, not film stuff. Um, now this is wet and I think I'm going to make a mess, but that's okay. Anyway, um, I think, you know, I worry like, is there value in what I'm sharing, you know, and, and is it, you know, I don't want to try to reinvent the wheel. And a lot of times we're not, we're taking inspiration from other people. And I personally just try to do my own thing. Like I'll get ideas from other people. I'm shaky because I had too much coffee this morning. Um, anyway, I try to get ideas from other people, but I don't, I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel. I'm just trying to, to, um, trying to make things that I like, you know, that I think are fun and want to share. You know, I knew I should have let that dry, but it's okay because it still looks like snow around the edge and it doesn't have to be perfect. Hopefully you can see that shim shimmery bit. Okay, so Kathy, 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 you had mentioned in video, I want to say seven, that you were having difficulty hearing me and I do apologize for that. I have yet to figure out how to put the closed captioning on the videos. Um, I have to do a little bit of homework on that. I'm really not sure. So if anybody already knows the answer for how to do that, I would appreciate help. I'm not sure how to do it. Um, because this is cardstock, I'm gluing it with my art glitter glue. Um, I'm not sure how to do that. So oh, I just stuck my finger right in the glue. Oh my gosh. Anyway, um, so if anybody does know how to put closed captioning on, please let me know because I don't want somebody to not be able to watch because they can't hear me. Um, yeah, I just don't know. I, I mean, I don't know if that's something that YouTube or, or yeah, that YouTube automatically does or if I would have to type that. I'm not sure. So need to find out about that. 
I had. The thing about the glacier paste is, you know, it stays on your fingers for a while. You want to make sure that you, if you don't want that glitter there, you might want to make sure your fingers are clean. So I got some where I didn't necessarily want it, but that's okay. All right, so moving on. So I'm just going to continue here with decorating these pieces. I think maybe on the rest of this, I'll just cut pieces of this as a background and then we'll embellish that way. So I'm going to flip this to the wrong side here and I'm just going to leave like an eighth of an inch maybe gap around the top and the sides because I want to see that this is the bag, you know. Um, so I'm just going to kind of mark that where I want it. Just take my trimmer and cut that down. So let's see. What else? I don't think there's anything else that I haven't told you guys like as an update or anything. Um, I do know. Okay, make sure I do this the right way here. We have some trips coming up. So I have to, ooh, I like that with the circle right on that piece. So I, we have some trips coming up, so I have to be kind of a little more efficient than what I've been being. Um, so that's going to be a little interesting for me um, to be able to figure out how to film on the road and upload and still share content and figure out what to pack. Um, so I'm working on that. So... We'll figure that out as we go along as well. Okay, I'm just gonna finish cutting these and getting them glued down and I will come back and show you what I've done. So I zoomed in just a little. Hopefully that's not too much. I don't wanna be, you know, too close, but he's so cute, I like him. Anyway, so we have a little pocket here, okay? And then this will pull out. Oh, it's glued to itself. What did I do? I clearly got glue somewhere. Anyway, so what we need to do is glue this to our belly band. And so I want to make sure that my tag is going to fit in there. So when I, um, I need to take cornstarch to this, I think. Anyway, when I glue my bag to my belly band, I want to just make sure I only glue just at the very outside edges so that way, um, that way, I have plenty of room for my tag. So, uh, oops, see, and hopefully that won't be too far in there. I don't think it will. I had refolded this to make it a little wider when I was trying to um, do the layout for this. So, I'm just trying to get that on there um, without gluing everything together. <laughs> Hopefully this is gonna work like I want it to. I mean, we don't know if we don't try, right? So now I'm gonna let that dry. I don't wanna stick my card in there because if that glue did seep out at all, now see, that looks crooked. Did I do that crooked? Maybe it's just, it's on there slightly crooked, so I'm going to have to compensate for that somehow. But this bag is kind of flimsy too, so I mean, perfection is, is what it's what it is it's handmade so I uh oh I think my uh oh my pen is starting to break I I got to get a repair job done on it I love this charm my friend made it and sent it to me and I love it but I'm so rough on these pens I don't know does anybody else have that problem with their pens and their art glitter glue okay so this little um it's out of the ephemera pack he'll fit in there just perfectly I think and this needs stabilized somehow, so I'm thinking I may just put a little bit of ribbon or trim or fabric along this edge to stabilize it. We don't want that tearing or breaking. And then I have my little, I got the Tim Holtz minis and I thought they might fit on one of these panels. And I also have some die cuts that I made last year. So again, if you were watching my series last year, you know I made some die cuts and then just have some bits and pieces in my Christmas ephemera thing that doesn't have very much in it, but that's okay. So, um, stabilizing this, that's what I was doing. 
Maybe I'll just do a little collage. Oh, I know what we can do. Where is, we'll just use this. This is just a sheet of that player piano roll. Or I could just use a piece of parchment paper and then that'll blend right in. So why don't we do that? Yeah, I'm going to do that. So I'm gonna glue this and trim it and then I'll come back and see what else we're gonna do on these pages. Oh my gosh, now we're 20 minutes in. I have lost my brown ink dauber. You guys can probably see it. Oh, there it is. You can't see it, but it fell out of my cup. That's why I couldn't find it. Okay, so I'm just gonna ink around that edge there. And um, this corner didn't get quite exactly how I would like it to be, but it's still gonna work. It's fine. I'm not gonna fuss about it. Okay, so Santa's gonna go in here. Oh, and I do think I'm gonna list this journal for sale. So if anybody would be interested in this journal, please let me know. Um, uh, just, yeah, let me know. You can email me or something. I, don't, I haven't figured that out yet. But anyway, okay, so there's that. I like it. I think it's gonna be really pretty on our page. And we just need to finish embellish, embellishing, hello our pieces. Now he's going to go in there way too far. So maybe we do a little tab on the edge of that. I wish this deer was facing the other way because I would put that on there just as a little pull. Um, the Santa's facing the same way. Oh, I know. What did I do with that? I think I used that piece of paper. Never mind. Okay. How about just a little bit of fabric? We could do that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hang on. Okay, so while I don't have a stopwatch set because I still haven't found our stopwatch, I can tell you that I am 46 minutes into The Little Mermaid. <laughs> so I'll use that as my stopwatch. Okay, so. Obviously, I haven't glued this to my page yet, and it's a little bulky, so I'm glad I put this at the top. And now this piece is going to really make me have to be very careful with um, the the rest of the way that we embellish this first signature. But I do think it's fun. It is a little bit big. Um, maybe I shouldn't have done so much of the trim, but I do love it. So let's see. So on our our top here we have our little owl which we did together I cut a little piece of gold trim to put on the side of Santa as a pool so we're gonna flip this open and I just did the reverse of that trim here um, and left this because I just really like the way that the paint is on that page on this page I did one of the little miniature Tim Holtz kids I think he's so cute and he's just sitting on the festive tag and then let's see on this page I did just a little piece, a cutoff from when we did that one panel. This was just that little bit that I cut off of that, so it was perfect. And this is just a coffee dyed little uh, flip out here. And normally, I would have left like the little flaps, you know, for extended, um, for more space to, to journal. But because this is kind of bulky, I went ahead and I cut that off. And I just inked around that with the H mahogany. And I also, this actually was long enough that it folded in again, but I cut that off too. So we'll use that to make a journaling card or something somewhere. Anyway, so that's going to go there. So now we need to glue this to our page. And um, that is really bulky. Um, so maybe I should have not done all three sections or not use such big trim on this, but I really like it and I'm going with it. So I'm going to use my I'm going to use my art glitter glue on this and just go along the edge here. Oh, you know what? And now we need something to put in this belly band, but we will do that in a different video because this video I don't think I'll be able to come back in the same video. Ooh, ooh and get that done. Um, we'll see. Maybe I can if I come up with something simple. So let's see here get that on I'm gonna I'm going to flip this open and I left this one plain as well because I again I really like the design of that and I just think it's pretty um, I could have left the whole thing plain oh oh my gosh did I really just do that Is my head in the film I'm sorry okay how about let's not touch it okay so 
yeah, we'll have to put something to stay to strengthen that, you know, like a, just a journaling card, nothing crazy because that page has a lot, a lot of bulk to it. Um, but the good thing is that I think, oh, I've got to fix that. I think, what is that clipped on there? Oh, that envelope might be able to move that envelope. Okay. So we've got our, I think it'll be okay. I'm doing more at the top of this one to try to balance the stuff that's at the bottom. But we still, I'm thinking, oh, we're getting close, but not really. I have to do something here, which the idea I had that I was going to actually start in this journal, I think was going to do here, but this is really bulky. Maybe I do something flatter here. Will that make a big difference? Not really. Okay, well, it's fluid. We can, it's fluid. That kind of mirrors, I did that on purpose. Okay, so then, we're getting there. I think I am gonna glue this pocket to this page. I like the red and the contrast and color on this. And so that will be our pocket here. So let's go ahead and get that glued down. Make sure you know which side you're gluing down. There's nothing like gluing your pocket in the wrong uh, way. Again, when I give you these tips, you can pretty much ask me how I know. Generally, it means I've done it. So get that glued on there. So we'll need something for that pocket. Get that glued down. Okay. That should hold. And then that envelope that we made, I'm going to consider if I want it here, which I do like it there. So that means we'll need to embellish it. Or do we want to move that to the back somewhere? See, we need some pockets back here too. So I'm not quite as far along in this as I would like to be, but I think we're doing okay. I mean, we have quite a bit done. Um, so yeah, we'll just keep plugging away and working on it. Oh, I put that in there. I haven't stitched this, so I'll finish that pocket as well. The general consensus was yes, to stitch around it and put it down. So I'm going to stitch around that, get the label stitched down, and get that pocket glued in. So I'll get that finished. Yeah, we need something for in there. I'm thinking about putting a small pocket here at the bottom. That's a lot of white space. Embellish that. Okay. Okay, so that's going to be it for this video. Thank you for joining me. I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.